Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so this is the Miami Swim Week vlog. Swim Week has been divided into two separate times now. Now they have a swim week in June and they also have the regular Miami Swim Week in July. But a few of the shows have departed and are showing now. So we're doing a few shows, a few parties, a few fun day activities, and I'm taking you guys with me. I'm starting the vlog here in the Miami Edition Hotel. Um, I did a staycation here. It was very relaxing, very rejuvenating, and now it's time to get to work. So if you wanna know more about the hotel, see the room tour, and all of the things that this hotel has to offer, definitely watch that vlog. Check it out, get all of the tea on the hotel. But I'm ready to head to my first show for Miami Swim Week, which is the Signal Show, and it's happening at Esme Hotel. I've taken you guys to Esme quite a few times. One of my favorite, very affordable hotels here in Miami Beach. They have a beautiful rooftop with a pool and a bar, and I believe that's where the show is taking place. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I am wearing this Jean-Paul Gaultier sheer dress. It is so fun. It also comes in like blue, I believe. I'm wearing a small. I definitely could have gotten an extra small, even though I'm a medium, because it runs quite generous, but still a beautiful dress. I paired it with my Bottega Jody bag, my Lido mules, and a beautiful orange to kind of match the dress. I have on my favorite blush from Dior, my Bottega earrings, and the lip is Fenty MVP. And I also put on my brand new perfume from Dior. It's called Dior Riviera. It was made by or composed by Francis Kirk Dijon, who also did Baccarat Rouge 540. It's a beautiful fragrance with rose and fig. It's new, so check it out. I'll link it down below. Uh, that is the look, and we're gonna head out. I said a lot in this intro. Anywho, don't forget the thumbs up. All right, guys, let's go.
Hi guys, so we made a little quick pit stop back at my apartment because I had tons of packages. Um, one is from Alto, which is right here. You guys know I love Alto. Um, they're having a partnership during this swim week, so we'll get into this package tomorrow once I check out of the Miami edition and come back home. Um, but yeah, we went to the Signal show. It started at 7. We got there at 7.07 .07 and the show was halfway done. Uh, hopefully you guys got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes we kind of filmed where the models were coming out and then after the show I kind of went up and showed you a few of the looks they had like this really cool like Miami top that was nice with the palm trees and kind of a watercolor print um, most of their pieces were like watercolor swimwear dresses wrap dresses um, open shirts and bikinis so at least it was cute it was at Esme which I love um, then we quickly shot this outfit. I will actually go ahead and pop those videos in right now so you can see the look and then we'll come back here and we'll chat. Okay, so that's my look. We shot it at Esme Hotel. There's two different buildings for Esme. The one we shot in is more on the Drexel side right by the Drexel restaurant. It's really, really cool in there. I love all of the decor. It's giving me very Morocco, deep hues and colors and greens and such. So we had a fun time shooting in there. And then we just walked here. Now I'm drinking a San Pellegrino, the Melo Grano and Arancia. This was in my gift bag from Alto. And it's delicious. It's also Maria's favorite <laughs> and I'm drinking it right in front of her. But anywho, we're just gonna chill for a bit and I'm actually gonna call an alto and we're gonna head to the Ocean Drive Magazine party which is at the Kempton Hotel. Um, and then hopefully we'll find some place to eat tonight and just have a fun chill night. And you know, pretty much a pretty chill morning as well at the hotel, we're gonna do some shooting in the morning. And then uh, I have a gifting suite to go to at Gatano. I've always wanted to go to the Gatano here and I'm so glad this opportunity came through. So I'll be able to take you guys there. There's one in New York City. It used to be at a hotel and then they moved it to I believe like an island. Um, yeah, so I wanted to check out the one here in Miami. So I'll be able to take you all to that one. And everyone loved my dress, my Jean Paul Gaultier dress from my Teresa, they still have them in stock. They come in two different colors. So I'll be sure to link this dress down below along with a few more of my favorite mesh dresses from Jean Paul Gaultier. There's quite a few that I've been loving from my Teresa. Uh, so I'll check back in with you guys when we're on our way to the Ocean Drive magazine party. at the edition I think we're gonna grab some food uh, and then we're gonna head to the ocean drive party but it's kind of lit at the hotel it's a Friday and like so many people are downstairs at the uh, outdoor bar um, there are two restaurants here there's a club downstairs and it's looking like it's really lit it's a lot of people down in the uh, lobby that are all dressed up and such so we might partake in a little fun before heading to the party in a few. There's this really delicious rice that they have here at this restaurant, uh, Matador Room. So I'm gonna see if I can get some of that. And then we'll see where the night takes us. But let me show you guys outside on the balcony and how it's so lit downstairs.
So it's been a pretty eventful evening. We had a quick dinner here at Matador Room at the hotel where we got this arroz con pollo rice that I really, really love. It's delicious. And some chili and garlic shrimp. And then we each had a glass of champagne right after we headed to the Ocean Drive magazine um, party. They were celebrating a new cover and I believe the summer issue. Um, and they had just like a little party set up at Surfside Kempton Hotel. Kind of did a once through there. Really cute. They had a few different activations and things with um, liquor brands and Javiana sandals who I have worked with. I love their sandals. And that was about it. We're back here in the room. I am going to take off my makeup, take a shower. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys my nighttime skincare routine because I keep saying I'm gonna do it like for real at night and I never do. So this will be a perfect moment to do that. And then tomorrow we will go to a gifting suite for swim week. We will go to a, a party um, hosted by my girl Rhea, Michelle, and Patron. And then we'll go to a Matt Swim Week fashion show. So tomorrow, pretty eventful, and we're shooting a few things super early, early in the morning. So we want to make sure, you know, we get in for the night. It's all, only 11 o'clock, so we did pretty well today. All right, guys, I will check back in when I'm ready to do my nighttime skincare routine, show you guys all the products I'm using on my face, and we will call it a night. All right, guys, get on ready with me. Let's go. We're gonna take my makeup off. We're going to start, I'm gonna triple cleanse probably, which is pretty uh, necessary for me because I have to get deep in those pores and I have to get the makeup out. Let's get into my products. So I hounded uh, housekeeping for as many vanity kits as they, as they could give your girl because I don't have anything to remove my makeup and I don't like to do it on the hotel uh washcloths so in here they have a few cotton rounds we are going to start with a bit of makeup remover i just got this in from christian dior in my latest beauty haul um, it is the purifying eye and lip makeup remover it's kind of a oil water base so you want to shake it up a bit and i use this on my lids because i have dior mascara and eyeliner on I saturate it and we're gonna see how good it works you guys see me I also wipe off the brows and really go into my eyelashes because I like them to be squeaky clean for the next time I use mascara so that it goes on nice and smooth if you leave any residue on those lashes, like it's gonna look crazy. But it works really well, you guys can see. I mean, I did do a few takes, but it's okay if a little gets in your eye, it doesn't irritate your eyes or anything. It's very light and it gets the job done. We're gonna do the same thing for the lips. I'm wearing Fenty MVP and it is a lip stain. So let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. It doesn't have a weird taste or sting or anything, so. Pretty good. Okay guys, we're gonna get into my cleansing. I'm gonna start with Chanel. Um, it is the cleansing oil to pull the makeup out of the pores. I'm gonna follow that up with the Dior off and on. It's a very mild cleanser. It uh, eliminates impurities and also gives the skin like hydration, which is great. I follow that up with the Ordinary, this is new, um, the Ordinary Glycolipid Cream Cleanser. Um, it's very, very gentle. It adds moisture back to your skin while cleansing. And it's just really mild and light and I love the Ordinary products. This came out in May of 2022 and I've been loving it. Uh, and finally, we end with the Daily Glycolic Cleanser from Dermalogica. This has really, really helped my skin. 
with like my hyperpigmentation and my large pores um, and it, it's a brightening gel cleanser so it's gonna take me some time to go through all of those but I've shown you the products they're all linked below and we're gonna get to it I've definitely got it down like with it less time I be risking my camera and shit for angles. You know how those scenes where the water looks like it's falling into the camera? All right guys, my four step cleansing routine done. We're gonna go in with a little of the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. Just put a little bit on a cotton swab and gently pat it in. Next up, we're gonna go in with a little niacinamide, 10% zinc, 1%. I love this stuff. This has definitely helped with like my texture, my hyperpigmentation. Um, it's just so good. And I spent about a minute rubbing it in. Next, we're gonna spot treat with a little bit of salicylic acid, 2% from The Ordinary. I don't know if you all can tell, but I have a pimple right here. So we're just gonna focus on that. It is that special time of the month when pimples love to pop up. I'm gonna put on a little chapstick because my lips are super chapped. And as you can see, I do have some hyperpigmentation I'm working on, but so far, so good. Now also I have a little, uh, this used to be a scab from when I was using a lip gloss that I was allergic to, but it's healing nicely. Okay, so we did that. Last, we're gonna go in with a little hyaluronic acid to help with fine lines, wrinkles, make your skin nice and plump and baby-like. So I just use a few drops of this, also from The Ordinary. Put this on my cheeks, my chin, and also my neck. We go up in an upward position for the neck. Circle of motions for the chin and then upward motions for everything else. Finally, I'm gonna put this little pimple patch on my pimple. I usually get my pimple patches from um, Real, R-E-A-E-L. They also make like period products and acne products and skincare products and everything. But I don't know where mine are, so I borrowed this from Maria, who got it from Target. But yeah, it kind of like draws out the, the liquids in a pimple and helps to like make it disappear. So hopefully that's what happens because Lord knows this pimple has been bothering me. All right, guys, so that is my nighttime Get them ready with me routine, how I take off my makeup with my four cleansers and then the products that I use at night. That's pretty much it. Sometimes I will use a retinol um, product, but I switch that every other day with different products I use depending on what's happening with my face. But I do use a lot of the ordinary products because they are vegan and most of them are natural and they have all of the ingredients that you need just saturated you know and they're one product so definitely check them out they're pretty affordable you can find them at sephora and that's it for tonight i'm gonna brush my teeth um i've already showered and I'm gonna head to sleep so i'll see you guys tomorrow
it is such a stunning morning i kind of showed you guys a little bit of the sun rising over the water this morning oh you guys the miami edition is my new favorite hotel like i love it here the quiet vibes in the morning are unmatched look at this beautiful natural light with the sun rising over the water so lovely i had a really good sleep um and now maria and i are going to take advantage of the quietness we're going to go onto the beach and do a quick shoot we are also going to shoot a pool look um just for some content and then we're going to shoot in the room you know i'm going to do the basic you know breakfast and uh tub content as well um and then i'm checking out today later on but i had such a great stay here i only did a two night stay but it was everything i needed to just rejuvenate myself and relax that was another vlog ago and now we're getting into work mode and i have a lot to do today so it's gonna be fun i did my basic face this morning with the little gloss uh the covergirl yummy gloss in the color laughable or lavender yeah lavender i think um i did a full like get ready with me in the previous vlog for my a staycation relaxation self-care vlog so if you want to know all of the products I use to get this makeup look just check out that previous vlog all right by the way this dress from Wolford has come in so clutch during my stay I pretty much wear it as like a house dress or a beach dress I've worn it to the beach down to dinner like it's just a really great dress i'll link it down below it's from wolford and the numero Bentayono collaboration that just came out and it has this cool little detailing here that i love they also have a similar one at skims um, which is a little bit more affordable than this one but yeah i love this little detail it has a little bar in here too i'm wearing a medium i could have sized down to a small because it has quite a bit of stretch all right, so I'm gonna change it to my first look, which is this beautiful Ayana Muse dress that I got from my Teresa. Um, I showed it in a haul during my top six spring dress brands that I'm loving this year video. Um, so if you're in the market for some beautiful summer dresses, definitely check out that video. Um, I dropped some brands that are well known and some not so well known that you can add dresses to your collection from. So we're going to start with the Ayana Muse dress. We're going to move on to shooting um, this Christopher Esber bathing suit that I just got in. I'm going to pair it with the scarf from Pucci. Then we're going to shoot here around the room. But everything you see will be linked down below. Let's do a little bit of work before we hop back into more Miami Swim Week events.
are all done shooting. We did a beach shoot in a beautiful I Amuse dress. Then we did a pool shoot in my Christopher Esber swimsuit and poochie scarf. And then we ended with just a little hotel room shoot, getting a little tub footage and a little bed breakfast footage. Um, so yeah, now the food is here and so we can eat. I went ahead and changed into these pants from Ray. I love these wide leg pants, like they are everything. And this top is from Amazon. I also have it in a beautiful like nudie brown color as well as white. I also have the longer version so I'll link uh, both of these pieces down below for you guys. Get the Amazon tops because they're only like eight bucks. And the ones that are kind of a knit fabric are really, really good. So yeah, I love my brown one like this and the black one as well. So the food is here. You would have already seen it, but here it is again. And we are going to eat. Well, someone's already eating. <laughs> I have the coconut lavender grapefruit pancakes again. They are delicious. And then I got the eggs and the arugula salad, tomato salad and potatoes and just a little toast. And I already had a coffee from earlier. Oh, I also got this little juice. Yeah, so this will be good. It is so, I'm all packed up because after I check out the guest suite, gifting suite, I'm leaving here. But how beautiful is it today? It is so stunning, just gorgeous. And this hotel is kid friendly. So yeah, if you have kids, definitely check it out. And if not, still check it out. <laughs> Very happy with how productive our shoot was this morning. Yeah, and really happy with the content. We also got some drone footage on the beach this morning as well. Uh, all right, let's eat. All right, guys, here is the full look with these Ray wide leg pants that I got from Matches Fashion. I love these. I put on my Fendi slides. I got these in recently. They are very, very comfortable. I like them because they're pretty plain. And then the top is from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it for you all. I'm just gonna toss on a little bit of perfume, my earrings, grab a bag, and we are gonna head off to check out the guest, uh, the guest gifting suite, which is at Gatano, which is really close to this hotel, so I'm just gonna walk there. All right, guys, just gonna refresh my clean, fresh, yummy gloss from CoverGirl. And we're going to put on a fragrance. I have really been loving the new Dior Riviera, Christian Dior fragrance. This is made by Francis Kirk Dijon, who also created Baccarat. And uh, it's a mix of like fig and rose. And then I have this one, which I show you, showed you all in a previous vlog. It's the Versace Dylan Purple. I really, really like this one too. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with this one today because I've been wearing out the Dior and I wanna save it. But this has a very cool, fresh, light, there's a little bergamot in there. It smells really, really good. And a little mysterious, you know, it's giving a little something, something. Gonna pop on these Pecanesi earrings. Super fun hoops. And then I'm just gonna carry my Chanel PVC bag. And that is the look. Let's head over to Gatano and check out the guest gifting suite for Miami Swim Week.
edition so I can check out uh, but I saw my girl Rhea Michelle there also Farrah Pink on Instagram there as well um, I had a popsicle I also was gifted these guest sunglasses they have a little reflective thing on them I'm not sure if you can see it let's see when I go in the Sun maybe you can see it yeah they're really cool but they were gifting swimwear and bags and such but I didn't take anything else other than these sunglasses but shout out to guests for inviting me it was great i got to meet their social media head which was lovely uh so now we're gonna check out of the miami edition i really enjoyed my stay highly recommended a blog post will be on my website fashion steel nyc all about my staycation here so check out my blog and i'm gonna go home unpack relax a bit before heading to the mondrian for a little pool party with Patron. So I'll check in with you guys soon. Hopefully you guys can see the little reflective guests here in the corner. Um, but I'm gonna miss staying at the Miami edition. This was so beautiful. I had such an amazing stay here. Um, the hospitality, A1, the food is good, love Matador room, the bars are fun, the pools are great, the beach is beautiful, like an amazing stay. But we have to finish off Miami Swim Week from the comfort of my townhouse. So we're going to head out, you guys. But let's get one last view of this spectacular place. Alright, so I have my cow pack luggage here, which I love. It's great for a quick stay. And then I have my new Reeve Gauche tote in the black raffia. This thing has come in so clutch during this trip. I got it from my Teresa. It's the perfect size for day. You can actually wear it as a bag. It's not so big, but just a great travel bag. I have my tripod that I got from Amazon. Love this thing. A few things that I bought while I was here yesterday, some lotions and such, and then I have my Bottega Jody with all of my electronics. And now we are checking out. Goodbye, beautiful hotel. Hey y'all. So I showered, unpacked everything because I'm the kind of person that unpacks as soon as I get someplace. Cleaned up my house a bit. And now I'm about to head to the Mondrian for Rhea's Patron party, which should be really, really fun. Um, I put on this Rat and Boa set. It is a top, a matching little maxi skirt, and then I have on a little bikini underneath. Um, and then I just put my hair up because it is so freaking hot today in Miami. My goodness. At the guest event, I was sweating. Gonna put on my little anklet, my little cowrie shell anklet. I love this thing. You can get these anywhere, but you can get them really quickly from Amazon, of course. Uh, yeah, 
So I have a little bit of time before I'll call in Alto and we'll head over to the Madrian. But I want to show you guys the gift bag that I got in from Alto. If you don't know what Alto is, it's a ride share program, but it's a very, very luxe. All of their drivers only drive for them and they are trained to drive for them. Um, it's very luxe. All the cars are the same. You can control the music. You can control the temperature the vibes. They always have water, umbrellas, everything you need in there. And also various cords so you can charge all of your electronics. Um, and they're amazing. So definitely check them out. I believe my code for them still works. It's Monroe20 for, I believe, $20 off your first two rides. Uh, and they have them in different cities. I know they have them in Texas. They have them in LA, they have them in DC, in Miami. So check them out, they're really, really cool. Um, we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in. They gave me a little gift bag yesterday um, and I briefly showed it to you, but we didn't get into it. So let's get into that. First, I'll show you my outfit and then we'll head downstairs and I'll do a little unboxing. All right guys, so here is the fit for the pool party, it is this navy blue and cream zebra print set from rat and boa it comes with this little matching top and skirt i always get all of my pieces from rat and boa in a medium including my little bikini which i don't know the best way to show it to you but it has a matching little bikini there and bottom which is the same as well so yeah, this is what I'm going to wear to the event. I'm probably going to end up taking the shirt off because it's so hot today. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and put on a fragrance. I wore the Versace Dylan Purple to the guest event and I got so many compliments. As soon as I saw Farrah, she gave me a hug and she was like, wow, you smell amazing. Y'all, this one is the one. So good. I think I'm going to wear this to the pool party. So let's go ahead and spray a bit of this. Oh, not to mention they also sent me the same hairspray. So there's a uh, perfume, of course, and then there's one for your hair. So I'm gonna spray this in my ponytail so people can kind of get a whiff when I walk by. Very, very cool. Dylan Purple, smells amazing. Perfect for a vacation, tropical. A uh, location really really great for summer and the staying power it stays it's really really good all right guys let's get into what alto sent over first of all loving this little uh bag here Perfect for the beach. We have an Alto hat, which is great because you all know I love a good hat and it's white. They sent over some Aquapana. We love water over here. Um, and also some really cool sunglasses from the brand Momad, which I've never heard of, but very, very cool. Momad. These are fun. Maybe I'll wear these today. Yeah, they're really, really cool. Um, and I've never heard of that sunglass brand. We also have something from Tiwi. Let's see, is it more sunglasses? Yes. So these are from Tiwi. How cool is this case? I've never seen a sunglass case that looked like this before. So let's open this up. Ooh, these are really cool. They're almost like uh, the sunglasses you wear to the movie theater, like 3D sunglasses. They have a blue lens, red sides. Very cute. These are probably great for the sun with like UV protection. Very cool, I've never heard of the brand Tiwi, T-I-W-I. Check them out. We have some Miami Beach Bum. Uh, products here it comes in this little bag we also have some Miami Beach bum SPF 30 and it has a little hole so you can put it on your keychain like when you're heading to the beach 
Super cute. Love that. We have an alto frisbee that's clear so you could play frisbee at the beach. What else do we have in here? A few snacks, immune support chewy, and a protein brownie. I love a brownie. And I'm trying to get my protein up for sure. We have a little Fortuna Skin Replenishing Balm. I've never actually heard of this brand. How do I get in here? It's a little child proof. We also have some Futuna Skin Essence. And then we have a box that just has my name on it. What? Look at this. It just says Monroe Steel. It's from the Taja Collection, a custom creation hand poured in Miami. Is this a candle? Because if they made this candle specifically for me, I, I'm gonna love it because y'all know how I feel about a candle. It's so cute. Do you all see that? It has my name engraved or embossed on the top and it's a little candle. Ooh, it smells really good too. Wow. It's called Tall, Dark, and Handsome. And that's an, exactly what it smells like. Ooh, love this. I gotta find somewhere to put this in the house. Okay, so that is all of my Alto goodies. Oh, I also have a little something from Tawdry Jewelry. I showed you guys a few things I got in from them in my luxury sales haul. All the things I got during the Memorial Day sales. And so they sent over a little something, Tawdry. De definitely check them out on Instagram. And what's in here? What are these? Oh, they sit over these super cute little earrings. Maybe I'll wear these today because I don't want to wear anything big to the beach. Here they are, you guys. So cute. I love them. I'm going to put them in now and wear these today. I love how they look. I'll be sure to link these down below. They are from Tadri. Oh, very, very cool. Shout out to Alto for all the goods. I'm gonna pack a little pool day bag really, really quickly, show you guys my outfit, and then we are out of here. All right, guys, let's go. I grabbed my Reeve Gauche, put on these pretty little thing sandals, and I actually changed the bottom. I forgot I also have this fringe bottom from Rat and Bullet, and I like this one too, so let's go. Here in our Alto, nice and cool, pulling up to the Mondrian. a few days later and y'all I just never ended this vlog your girl is ah, I need to be a better vlogger um so yeah swim week or the unofficial swim week which is new which now happens in June in Miami was a fail <laughs> okay I barely made it to any shows 
uh i couldn't get into one one i was too late <sighs> girl it was all the things we're gonna do better next time um the official miami swim week is next month in july and we're gonna do better i'm gonna have some footage for y'all it's gonna be good uh so i hope you're not disappointed that it was pretty much a fail but my staycation at uh miami edition hotel was amazing everything that i did get to attend especially my girl ria michelle's patron pool day at the mondrian hotel was super fun and i just had a lovely weekend so i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give your girl a thumbs up do not leave without giving your girl a thumbs up i need at least five thousand thumbs up y'all can do it at least thirty thousand of y'all watch the videos and i i see in my analytics that uh a little less than half of you that continue to watch my videos are not subscribed that's 50 percent of y'all who watch all the videos and aren't subscribed help your girl out and subscribe i would appreciate it so much you enjoy the content i enjoy making it join the fam all right guys i'm starting a brand new vlog after this one it'll be a miami new york vlog i'm going home for juneteenth it's gonna be a good time and there will be a vlog me and my girls we're gonna turn up all right guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye guys